Hi, uh, please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Anton Kuzmin and I'm uh, responsible for all the development efforts uh, here at Aris Embedded Company. And one of our most recent development and partnership is with the uh, new Renesas chips. So this is the RZ, what do you call it? The oh, VL, V2L? Maybe? V2L is not this particular chip, but we have it on the other design. Uh, those are RZ5, based on, uh, so it's a uh, microcontroller chip, uh, embedded controller, built around the RISC-V architecture, based on Andes Semiconductor RISC-V core. And recently we introduced this SGET standard uh, OSM model, built around this chip, and a new development platform for this model, which is a 5-berry. It has this chip mounted on the Raspberry Pi form factor board, so you can easily prototype all your designs with this chip and use it for development with the chips. Does it work? Chips. Yes, of course. <laughs> so, so it's actually running there? Uh, this demo is running on the other Renesas chip, a bigger one, RZ-V2L, and so it's a right nice there. one, that's yes. An arm. Yes, it's a dual core ARM CPU with their video processing unit and also artificial neural network accelerator chips. And you see here the demo running the YOLO neural network with their image uh, recognition and identification. So it runs the streaming video from the USB camera uh, through the accelerator chip and image recognition neural network and then shows it on the display with the bounding boxes and everything. Nice. Uh, what is this? Uh, this one is the same uh, standard family as a OSM. It's a recent SGET family. But these boards are for the um, different uh, my, uh, CPU. It's also ARM architecture, but a little bit bigger. So with uh, SGET OSM standard, we have an a uh, small size, medium size model, and also a bigger size models are what is available. The architecture of this CPU? Those are ARM. It's from ST Micro STM32 MP1. All right. But That's running on Linux, for example. Uh, or running yes. Ant? Yes. Yeah. And this one is running a uh, Yocto Pro distribution, Yocto Linux, and. Uh, we uh, do support uh, different embedded Linux distribution on all, all, all our products, and that's uh, uh, Yocto, which is an industry standard, but for the um, easier start for somewhat lightweight distributions, we also support a build route. Nice. Uh, what's happening over there in the booth? Uh, you, you have the big wall that says that kind of lists all the stuff you do and show you more words. Yeah, above you can see all, all, or almost all the keywords or the services we are providing. But here on the display we have a, a nice product line. We have starting from the different uh, system on modules based on the CPU, different CPU architectures. So what are you seeing here? Uh, those are Atmel, uh, small ARM CPUs, then we have NXP IMX8M Mini, then we have NXP IMX6UL, as an older product. Those are even a legacy products, but they are here to stress that we support for our industrial customers. We support the longevity, Many lifetime, years. 15 plus. 15 for my, years? For many products, for some of them, we can see later on, we have even 20 years of lifetime. Which and one is 20 year old? Uh, uh, not 20 year old, but with a guaranteed lifetime for 20 years. Uh, those uh, microchip uh, smart fusion, oh, sorry, not smart fusion, polar fire a system on chip FPGA. And that's interesting that it has a combination of the FPGA matrix and hard CPU core, quad core Risk Five architecture, and all those models are running also. Risk Five uh, running on the FPGA? No, Risk Five running on the hard processing core on the same chip with the FPGA. All right, that's that's fully deployed, fully working. Yes, absolutely. All and right. supported and support for those models is available 
uh, both from our metal layer for the uh, Yocto and also my upstream to the mainline Linux kernel and to their uh, micro main uh, microchip repositories. So they are not only fully running the Linux distribution, but it's also all the changes upstream. So we do contribute our uh, hardware support for our hardware to mainstream Linux distribution. Your company is uh, around the world? Uh, we are located in Munich area, but customers are, we have a lot, quite a lot of customers in the States. Um, and you support all, all everywhere? Around the, all, around all around the Europe, Japan, uh, some China and Indian customers recently. Israel, uh, yeah, so all around the world, I would say. Ah, maybe South and, uh, South and America, America is not that uh, visible on our map, but generally, yeah. Working everywhere. And people who have projects work with you, and you work together to get it done? Yes. Yeah, right. Uh, and we are providing. Uh, we are not only selling our modules. We are providing services to help our customers to design in our modules. And also, if some customers have uh, specific requirements or if they need some uh, custom development, we can uh, develop modules for them, a system for them, uh, based on their their requirements and the technologies we own. And also, this, uh, we are trying to participate and to, uh, to a partnership with uh, both semiconductor vendors as uh, Rini SAS is. We are a design partner of Intel, design partner of Microchip. And we are trying to participate in promoting those products. So in uh, MIV Summit, it's a Microchip event. Uh, we have an, uh, webinars and uh, trainings uh, together with Aero. Uh, semiconductors and um, later on an uh, FPGA Congress presence. So quite active on promoting those projects and products as well. Just getting, uh, because uh, many people are still somewhat scared of their FPGA technologies and especially in system on chip FPGAs because such projects involve their expertise or require expertise both from the hardware design uh, side from the FPGA development and at the same time from the embedded software development. And what is the strong uh, point of our company is that we are capable to provide an integration of all those technologies. We know all of them and we can help customers and willing to help customers and educate people that those FPGAs technologies. have a lot of potential. You can do anything you want with an FPGA. And they see a lot of development recent years and uh, yes, we are very, uh, enthusiastic about it and especially when you want to have long-term support you can potentially make things work longer and longer uh, because you can uh, update uh, effectively you can update your hardware without updating your hardware you can provide a new functionality extended functionality and change it but what is good about them both now uh, Intel and microchip uh, support that they do guarantee a lifetime of 15 or even 20 years for them products. Oh. And uh, we believe that uh, microchip or micro semi have not obsoleted any single family. So some of their chips are selling for more than 10, 20 years already on market. And oh. that serves as a good promoting point, especially for the industrial uh, customers, for the customers in the embedded area. Because oh. the design cycles are relatively long. It takes another uh, two to five years to design in something, and then you are not going to change your hardware platform for another 10, 15 years. You just have to use it and have to have a supply, have to manufacture your devices. Cool, thanks a lot. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome if it's uh, something suitable, or you can Thank make you. anything out of it. Yeah.